All right. We have two lists tonight. That is the goal, at least. But our first list here is a repeat. Both lists are actually a repeat. This one, though, got some love, and people kind of like it, and it's just kind of fun. It's silly, uh, but it, it can get the job done. So what do we call this one? This was Stone Spaghetti, and Stone Spaghetti because you have the Stoneforge Mystic Package, allowing to get... We're putting sort of Feast and Famine in. I think Green Black might be a little bit better than the uh, Fire and Ice Blue Red right now. And we have Batter Skull, so these are great things here. But you'll notice we're pretty loaded up here on the three slot. Now, previous iterations of this had Goblin Rabble Master. That was to be fast and smash face. But in current times, it doesn't seem that Rabble Master can quite battle back against bunches of Field of the Dead zombies, Uro, or just the likes of any of the creatures out there. So we're turning our attention to Skyclave Apparition. So this is a new addition to this list. However, it is one of the top played magic modern cards in the meta right now. And so we thought, hey, why not? We can do this too. So we have a Skyclave Apparition, uh, a set of three of these. I've increased the Bone Crusher Giants up to four. I've dropped Chalice completely. And in doing so, I've basically added Bolt. So the idea here is we can interact early on. We need to for things like Heliod Combo, for some of the Rakdos Prowess lists and things like that. Once we've interacted with our opponent, we'll hopefully land a three drop, perhaps stalling the game out briefly, and then spinning the wheel with Luca. Now Luca, if you haven't remembered and have forgotten since the last time we've played, Luca basically has this plus one that we ignore, but it basically can find creatures. It has a minus seven, which we ignore, unless we happen to get to that point. But really, we care about this minus two. So the minus two reads, exile target creature you control. Cool. Then reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card with higher converted mana costs. Kind of like Eldritch Evolution, except better. Put that card into the battlefield, the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. We have all these three drops. We do have a few two drops, but the idea is you don't use Luca on a two drop. You use it on a three drop and you spin yourself into Emrakul. And that's the idea. So spinning ourselves into Emrakul gives us the big giant mom spaghetti here. And we just win the game from there. Now, how quickly can we do this? We can put something down on turn three. Simeon Spirit Guide can be played here to get Luca, and it can happen on turn four. Doesn't mean we're winning on turn four, but hopefully someone will concede. Sideboard-wise, we've got things to protect the hand, things to protect the graveyard, because graveyards are scary. We have some Anger of the Gods for some of those aggressive matchups. Defense Grid to protect the combo. Not that it's much. And some Damping Spheres in here. This is kind of the catch-all for Eidolon, or sorry, for Storm and also Tron matchups. Sky Spaghetti. Sky Spaghetti. Skyclave Spaghetti. Stone Spaghetti. Let's see if we can get some Emrakuls in here today. What's up, Odysseus? Arthur Costa, what's up as well? Trying to trying to get the Emrakul. That's the idea. Hitting the Emrakul. Let's get things rolling here. Deck R, is that what this is called? There's no way this is called Deck R. 202128 20, Boros Nahiri. Yeah. What the heck is Deck R? Get out of here, Deck R. There we go. Sweet. Let's begin. Queue up for match number one. Let's find an opponent. Let's do this. You're trying to play a big red Koth list. Koth is a little weak right now, for sure. Not sure he's keeping up with the times with all the other Planeswalkers. Sounds interesting, though. I know some people in the Red Prison Discord community are trying to make Scred Red work. Wilk Chamberlain, welcome back. 12 months. You know what that means? You know what that means? You get a red slime ball, and it's very pretty. Oh, nice. MTG bots working. MT, um, auto post rate ratings, I think it is. There we go. 
All right, would you like to play first? Absolutely. Oh, this looks like a fun hand. Let's go ahead and keep this. Stone Spaghetti Bone Crusher Giant, and we'll just find ourselves a Luka and win the game, right? Easy. Money. Magic cards, exactly. Did anybody get magic cards for their holidays? Maybe they did. Maybe they did. We've been busy. We've been busy when we're not doing family things. We've been, uh, we've been busy. My opponent's mulligan to four cards. That can't be good for them. We're even leading off here. Not going to do anything too frightening here. What's up, logical? Check, check, mic check. Flame ball hand and ha ha. You got an opposition agent? That sounds good, my poor opponent. My poor opponent here. This is slightly awkward because I'm going to play Stoneforge and then not get to use it. Poor Tron, not really. Good luck, Tron. Um, I kind of want to just put the Sword of Feast and Famine in here because they make them discard cards and it untaps my stuff. Could just batter skull too. I'll just put the batter skull into hand. If my opponent misses their Tron land here, we won't play Magus get Sky Batter Skull into play. If this is a Tron land that follows up with the Urza's Mine here, then we'll be playing Magus of the Moon, obviously. Ooh, 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 ooh. Arid Mesa helps us out. Definitely gonna use that. Go get that planes and bam, get mooned. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club, opponent. Dude, you got a cool snowman thing. Sail, share. I didn't get any. How come the streamer doesn't get any? What? Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to be giving people things. Yellow hat just 5 0'd with mono black prison. We might need to see that list. Although I have a feeling I know what it is. We'll see though. Mag is showing up here. Will my opponent concede the match? So far, no. In with the Stoneforge for one pass turn. Whoa, logical. Whoa, hold on now, logical. You don't have to show off. It's not good to show off. It's rude. Those look really cool. Mono brown prison when? Never. Never. Chromatic star for our opponent. You got them all? That's all of them? I want the crown and the glitchy. The glitchy looks good. The lanterns are pretty cool too. I want both crowns. And surprise. You're wanting him to dismember my Magus, Casey? That's rude. What did they get? Sphere? I'm not paying attention here. Attack with Magus here. Plan to use Batter Skull. Have the Bone Crusher Giant. Smack, smack, smack. Good luck. Time to watch some Fluffy and watch villagers breed for their demise. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Chromatic Sphere, immediately cracking it and getting a, another Chromatic Sphere here. Making green each time they do this. Ancient Stirrings. Uh-oh. What's up? Okay, I'm Draven. It's going. Night's, night's doing pretty well. Been a busy day. We recorded some videos for YouTube. Those will be going up soon. We hit 3,000 on both, by the way. Feeling pretty good. The opponent's about to concede. We'll see. Casey Grix's Coco would be four color Coco. It is, Zale. It is. By the way, it's good to see you, Zale, being a little more talkative. You've been. You've been kind of quiet lately. Ooh, walking ballista. All right. They're going to make a 2-2 two -two here. What's super nice here is we're going to save the Magus. 
This turn is all about saving the Magus. Living weapon. Hook it up. Ooh, a new stone forge. Okay. Well, land in. We're going to equip this over to the Magus here to save it for the future. And now we'll punch him for a good solid seven damage. Good luck, opponent. <laughs> you thought you were going to kill Magus. Think again. Blast zone here. We do have quite a bit of mana here. I guess this walking blist is going to die to Bone Crusher Giant. Get wrecked. Can I win here? Uh, stomp this, they shoot two here. Six in plus the helix is not a win. Oh well. We'll attempt to bone crusher giant this. They'll do this twice, probably killing Stoneforge, which means the helix isn't quite lethal here. That's okay though. Shot, shot. We lose the stompiness. We'll play Stoneforge Mystic out. We'll go get our other sword here. We'll smack smack for six damage and pass turn. Feels pretty good here. Oh, you got Yargle Ops. Nice, Yargle Ops. Logical putting the hat on Chandra. Putting the hat on Chandra. All right, this matchup we bring in Damping Sphere and that is about it. What can we take out here? Um, Probably the Sword of Feast and Famine is just not very good. And we need one more here. Need one more. Damping Sphere is supposed to be in here because it helps us accelerate to the moon type effect. I'm thinking I can just drop probably a Maze Mind Tome. It's probably okay. Just two damping spheres. My opponent's not trying to like just level me with damage. We'll make that small swap. All right, so I have an old monitor and I have the arm for it. And I'm thinking, you guys are about here. You can kind of see my hands a little off. You're about middle of my screen. I'm gonna try to put you guys right here. So I like look here and I'll... But I need to set up the monitor and all. Just got to do that. All right, we have Magus again. I guess we keep this. Good luck. Hopefully they don't have Tron. Operation on the draw doesn't seem the best. Uh, O-Stone could be a problem along with other things that could kill Magus. My opponent's mulligan to four again. I mean, we want three drops. My, mu my opponent mulligan to two cards and they concede. Good match. We won. We won. Apparition's not too slow. 2-0. Stone spaghetti. Let's get to match two. <laughs> not too slow. Not too slow. 5-0 incoming? Can't happen now. Can't happen. You put it in chat, and I saw it. We should probably ban you or something. Looks like Apparition was fine. Yep. Yep. It was fine. 4 1 incoming. There you go. That's more like it. Mmm, spaghetti. I was seeing a lot of, a lot of faces that kind of pop in from time to time. You all must be bored. <laughs> must be bored. Hey, look, MTG bots figured it out. All right, this hand looks fantastic. We'll keep this. Got that stone spaghetti. Got that helix. Got that Nahiri. Looks good. Let's go. Oh, no. No, this is bad. We're going to lose. I have a monopoly on the good streaming. Whoa, this is really big. We won't explain why that's really big. <laughs> um, 
Plains Gill. Plains Gill. All right, Lotus Bloom. Your opponent just played a Werebear in against you in Modern? Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, hold on. That's crazy. All right, so we have this Lotus Bloom. We have a Temple of Deceit. My opponent is the whole Ad Nauseam Thassa's combo shenanigans. This will probably be Pentab Prism. I don't have much to interact here immediately. Whoa, predictions started? Who's starting predictions? What is... What are the predictions? Why is chat doing that? Why is this distracting me? I don't need that distraction. Oh gosh, more Maguses. Well, we're gonna slap down a stone forge, make it look like I just uh, am playing some red white tax list. Batter skull or sword of feast and famine. Black and green, discarding cards. Let's get batter skull, why not? Logical started it. Can I predict? I'm gonna predict. Why can't I vote? That's because I could rig it. <laughs> I could rig it. Temple of Deceit here. Mods and streamers can't because we would rig it. All right, so what are we looking at here? I could Skyclave Apparition. Apparently the deck just wants me to play Moon. We drew this, we drew this, we uh, put this into our hand and then we drew this. Pulling my ethernet? Dude. Dude, people are like 50-50 on this. Oh, it's 4-1 or not. All right, we'll find out if we do. So Lotus Bloom's coming off suspend here. That makes me think that's what I want to use the Skyclave operation for. My opponent's going to have a lot of mana here. I have a feeling it's just supposed to be a Blood Moon effect to take them off some of this black. So we'll give it a shot here. The, the deck is giving me three Maguses. It's trying to tell me something. Punt the last game for fun. <laughs> this is now a betting stream? Is that what's happening? Dude, this predict thing is like distracting. It keeps like popping up. Will we 4-1? Boop, 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 boop. Spoils of the vault. My opponent can spoils for losing right here. They nailed the Thassa's Oracle. No. Uh... All right, so Lotus Bloom is coming off. Coming off. Suspend here. Can I get rid of these? I can't. This is terrible. Lotus Bloom off suspend here. They have a Thassa's Oracle in hand. I'll just ignore that the Thassa's Oracle's in hand. Can they kill me? Make him black. What's up, Beanball? We're floating all kinds of mana. Angel's Grace into Ad Nauseam. Concede. I guess I should verify that they have another Thassa's Oracle. By the way, I've played this opponent earlier today. Oh gosh, they have more than one. A couple of Thassa's Oracles here. They can play the Thassa Oracle as well, so... We're in good shape here. I guess we'll uh, concede. All right. You got me, opponent. You got me. So, how do we beat this? This is awful. Um, Damping Sphere, just to make it more expensive. Save one turn. We're in good shape. I guess I'll concede. Exactly. By the way, Graze is the only one dropping the Halimotes. We had several people. We had very few thank yous from people. All right, Damping Sphere and Maze Mind Tome out. Get out of here. I don't see Leyline making much sense other than they could Thought Seize me. Rest in Peace doesn't hit too much. Anger, the gods, Defense Grids. Nope, 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 nope. Defense Grid could be kind of funny if I, uh, they have a Pact of Negation, but we're not countering them, so come, just go, go, submit. Heart Emote isn't good enough anymore? Well, Zale, up at the top, you did that, and then uh, Dylan put, Dylan 
M4 cannon or something like that. And then you put your own Howl emote. And then the very next time emotes showed up where everybody's saying what they had. Oh, I see yours now. I didn't scroll up. I'm a, just bad at magic. Oh, oh, the combo. Oh, the combo's in hand. This is terrible. <laughs> This is terrible. I think we have to mulligan this. I can cast a Sword of Feast and Famine. <gasps> Why does that have snow? Why does that have snow? Logical, you can't do this to me. I'm so distracted now. Why does that have snow? Where do I get snow? Wow, look at the snow. Except how is it over top of the, the emote? I don't I'm gonna mulligan this. That doesn't do anything. This is a one lander that really doesn't do anything either. Mulligan, mulligan, mulligan. Okay, this we could play with. We can keep this. Bolt and a Stoneforge out. We're gonna just dig for Luca and win. That's what's gonna happen. I put the emote I want followed by it. All right. This plus snow, bam. Um, drinking some great, delicious goodness in, in the snow. Check me out. Check me out. All right, little Sacred Foundry here. We got a Temple of Deceit from my opponent. We have the Nahiri, that's looking good. Could be getting a Skyclave Apparition on a Pentab Prism, which is kind of what I want to get here, and that is the hope. Perfect, perfect. This is how we how we wrote it up. Not going to worry about Blood Moons. They're useless. Got a few Skyclave Apparitions to come down. Bam. Got them. Stole the Pentad Prism. Uh, I think I put a space. Chris the dog. The ice cube. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Another pentad prism? That'd be really good for them. Ah, oh, they had another one. Oh no. Blood moon? Damping sphere. Mm. This never taps. Uh, season Pyromancer and Ditch 2. Do I want the Stamping Sphere in? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They play another land at 6. Thassa's Oracle, Angel's Grace. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to spoils. 6, 7. So uh, maybe I do play the Damping Sphere in? All right, we're gonna do Damping Sphere here because if not, I could get, just get combo killed. This gives me kind of like one to two more draws versus the damp the Season Pyromancer. I could just die right here. So they have the land here. They have white mana in the Pentab Prism. There's a Phyrexian Unlife and we have one, two, three mana. Like this is where Magus could be very useful. Stoneforge is definitely not it. We'll attack here. Didn't draw a land so that Nahiri was eligible to kill the Phyrexian Unlife. We're just gonna have to season Pyromancer here. Hope to find the land and hope that we don't die here. All right, we did find the land. Play our land, pass turn. So I have Nahiri down tick on Phyrexian Unlife as long as they don't add nauseum me. They don't need any more white mana. They have six mana here. Don't win right now, please. They're hesitating, which makes me feel really good. Yes, hesitate. Don't kill us here. Continue on. Go to end step. Oh, they're going to end step. 
That's because of this card. Yeah. Hey, thank you for the follow. All right, we got a Helix. Let's go combat first. Always good to go combat first. It scares them when you do that. Down to 10. Nahiri, down tick Phyrexian on life. Don't have counter? You didn't keep counter. You kept counters in. Excuse me. That's illegal. Not allowed. Please sideboard this out next game. Thank you. Maybe the opponent has just bet a bunch on the 4 1. Maybe they did. I think they're about to kill me. Ad nauseum here. It's going to cost them the Pentad Prism too. And now they just do all this. And we dead. We're dead because they just go get. Man, they had a slaughter pack in here. Jeez. They just go get the Thassa's Oracle and leave one card in, in their library. We'll make sure they leave one card in the library for the draw step here. As long as they do that, they've won. This opponent should, though. They've I've played them a few times. They're, they're pretty smart about how they work ad nauseum here. Oh, they drew them all. They drew them all. Pact of Negation. That's true, they gotta pay for Pact here too. Can they Lightning Storm me in response? Is Lightning Storm instant? It is instant. Uh, uh. My opponent just knows their deck inside and out. Well, there you go. Opponent's got it. They're playing the Lightning Storm as well. They get to pitch all this, throw it at my face, and we're done. The two people that bet against the four ones are about to get a ton of points. Excuse me. We're going to be one and one. We just got a 3-0 out. Look, maybe this person doesn't do it correctly either. Maybe they whiff this and we're going to game three. You're assuming things. One and one doesn't mean the 4 1 folks are done for. Twelve, fourteen, and eighteen. Or sixteen. Plus three. Need one more. There you go. Good job. Good job. Worth making sure that they have this. If we would have drawn with the canyon sword. All right, well, they get us. We have the Maguses. We're one and one. <laughs> Why are we betting against the record that I'm going to have? All right, next one up. Ad nauseum takes us down because, well, Ad nauseum is pretty brutal. It's pretty brutal. The Damping Sphere almost got us there. Almost. You bet it all on me? Can I see the predictions? I don't have a thing that tells... Oh, there it is. 90% 90 90 of the paw prints are in 4-1. 41,000 paw prints. And then only 10% said that we won't with only 4.4 thousand. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Beanball bet 40,000? Is that what you did? Beanball? <laughs> it's a betting stream now. What will you do with this 154,000? I don't know. Alright, we're against Dirk. 513. Or 1-1, one, one, my opponent's... Oh, oh. I know, Zale, you can't. You have more points than Zale? Maybe. All right. Oh, this is a good hand. We're going to keep this. This could get fun. Skyclave Apparition, play the Lucas, smack it down, win the game. Spaghetti Mom. The little Donnie, what's up? How you doing? How you doing, little Donnie? Ooh, Inquisition. 
<clears throat> Welcome back. Four months in a row. <laughs> All right, takes my Skyclave Apparition. Makes sense here, makes sense. Gonna make sure that I can cast this Bone Crusher Giant in case they play another Inquisition. Here's I'm just gonna get a Skyclave Apparition. We could have le led with a Sacred Foundry, so next turn I could play this, but I'm planning to play the Bone Crusher Giant first. Not too worried here. Especially against a Dark Confidant, that's a pretty easy and clear just hit him with a bone crusher stomp it out past turn looking good we're gonna get some spaghetti in here Four one howl blood moon all right sounds good just so you know opponent i play blood moon too cast bone crusher giant past the turn kind of hoping they tap out here they know luca's here Three mana Liliana. Down tick. Bye bye, Bone Crusher. Goodbye, Bone Crusher. Goodbye. Um. Let's go ahead and cast a Simeon Spirit Guide. Could get super lucky here, and the Lightning Helix should be good to kill the Liliana in case they do get rid of this. They can't get rid of this and I get the Luka down tick, things are gonna get interesting. Sort of. Gotta worry about Liliana, I suppose, too. Thought seizes away Luka, probably. It might take this sort of feast and famine, though. These both are great five drops for me to have. Oh my gosh, the Yama Killer has hosted with all kinds of people showing up. What's up, Yama Killers? The Yama time. We're playing some spaghetti, stone spaghetti here. Welcome them, welcome them, Wolf Pack. It's a host. Nice. All right, Thought Seas, what are you taking here? You've got some options here. Now, just because you uptick with Liliana doesn't mean you're gonna get me. Luca down to get that sweet, sweet Emrakul. I take Luca. Smart move, smart move. All right. By the way, they hosted with 141 people, and they're basically saying we're going to get one for one. Hmm. Interesting. Those predictions might be correct. <clears throat> Basic Swamp tapped here. That Fatal Push is no good. You can uptick your Liliana at any point. Thank you, opponent. Looking for a land here to hook it up with a Sword of Feast and Famine. Upticks. We'll get rid of Skyclave. I only have like two other planes, I think, in the list. Uh, the planes are a little light in the, the list after adding Skyclave. Not so worried about this, though. There goes that Fatal Push. Called it. It's there. Right there. Inquisition to take either the helix or the sword. I presume the sword is disappearing here. Takes the helix. Interesting. Well, one, two, three. Put the sword down and attach it. If they have the bolt, they have the bolt. They had it all. We didn't kill the Liliana. Do we regret everything? Absolutely not. We got this. We got this. We'll just hit a bolt right here. It's gonna be easy. Easy mode. New Blood Moon. Uptick Liliana. Sweet. Bolt. That's not a bolt. We'll play it because Liliana does uptick things. Pass turn. Next creature we do play it dies to Liliana. That's no good for us. Blood Moon. <laughs> Thanks, opponent. I got it. I understand. Ooh, Stoneforge. So Stoneforge, say okay. Yes. Go get Batter Skull. And hook this up here. I spent too much mana. Oh well. 
All right, now my opponent has to decide to down tick or up tick for batter skull. Plays a land here. Decides down ticking's correct. We lose Stoneforge. We'll play batter skull here and pass turn. They can down tick again if they'd like to. If they up tick, it's Emrakul. Goodbye. Spin the wheel. Land played. Makes me sacrifice again. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Can't quite pick batter skull up and replay, so we'll just pass the turn. Opponent plays a land here. We'll pick up batter skull. Planning to play this back down. Land, one, two, three, four, five. Slap down batter skull. Make a living weapon. Attach and pass the turn. Now we have a six, six. Pro green, pro red. Pro green, pro black. Blah, blah, blah. That's good. Croxo, we spit Emrakul out. Emrakul sends the graveyard away. My opponent gets to replay Croxa here. Pretty good for them. Not too afraid of a Croxa, though. Pro green, pro black. Seven more lands to go. Just hard cast to Emrakul. We could get there, Zale. We could definitely get there. Well, just play the land, attack. It's got all the protection. In for six, good luck opponent. Gain six, <laughs> this is deadly. This is deadly. I don't think they'll ever have a way to get rid of this either. They could attack, but we'll block. My turn. Excuse me, Mom Spaghetti, but um, we're not quite at 15 just yet. Can I float mana and flash an Emrakul, please? In response to the trigger, <laughs> float mana. I just want to scare my opponent. Mana floated. Can I can I hard cast? <laughs> flash in Emrakul? <laughs> that was fun. All right. Go ahead, opponent. I attack for six next turn, unless you have a braid, and even that's not going to do it. Land played, and that'll be game number one. Stone spaghetti. Woohoo, Nahiri. All right. Well, that worked really well. Seven mana shy. We were almost there. Almost. All right, rest in peace and ley line seem like okay cards to do here. This sword is definitely the approved sword for this matchup. Bolts and lightning helixes are probably okay. I could see some ley lines here. Definitely could. Jiro Master, what's up? How's it going? Abrading the batter skull would leave a 3 3 germ. Because it's still alive. Still alive. Then we make a new germ. Then we make a new germ. I wonder if I want the other Sword of Fire and Ice here just as like an option. I think I could probably ditch a few Maguses here as well, like Maze Mine and Maguses, and bring in like two to three Ley Lines in the Sword. They are in red, so the sword's kind of interesting to prevent things like bolt. The sword also, when it hits, you get the red mana, or you get to you get to shock something. <laughs> My opponent has realized. It's me, I guess. I guess that's a realization you can have. All right, we're bringing in Ley Lines. This Thoughtseize Inquisition Liliana player is going to get Ley Lined. Here we go. Dang. This is a very questionable, keepable hand. <laughs> 
I have all my colors to the gemstone caverns, and I have a ley line of sanctity. My opponents kept all seven cards. How deep do we want to go here with this? Isn't Tome good in grindy matchups? I don't feel like this should be a grindy matchup. Leyline and Gemstone in. Ditching like Skyclave. Try to hit Season or Stoneforge Mystic. I have a couple draws here. Maybe ditch the Nahiri. <laughs> Such a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Look at all these actions I've got. Let's get rid of this Nahiri. We're gonna win through a batter skull again. You watch. You watch. Ha! Swamp. Denied. Nice. Nice top deck. <laughs> Everyone that bet on the 4 1 pool is just like, Fluffy, why are you doing this to me? Oh, look, it's Channeler. So that's, that's a good card. It's a good card. Emrakul, excuse me. Can we, can we? Here, I'll help you. Go back to the graveyard. This isn't good. Everyone that voted is just really upset with me now. It's okay, everyone. Don't worry. You'll be all okay. Did not attack with the channeler here. Very little that they probably want to be doing there at instant speed. Ends up going ahead and going for this now. Revealing a Chandra and Bloodstained Mire. Cards are basically a whiff. We'll just pass turn. Who needed lands anyway? This deck doesn't play that many. Four mana. If my opponent could spare a little bit here, it'd be really appreciated. Inquisition here. My opponent finds Thought Seize and Mountain. Whoa, look at that mountain. Did you see that mountain? It's creepy. It's creepy. Bloodstained Mire cracked here. I guess we're going to see probably Liliana. If we do, I'm going to spin Emrakul into the yard. The ley line's doing a lot here. Oh no. Oh. This is really bad. That's hazards. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We can put this on the white side. And we can slap down a Stoneforge Mystic. This will at least let me go get a Batter Skull, which is probably what I'm going to need now. The 4-1. No, 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 everyone, we got Skyclave. Hold on, everyone. Everyone's so worried. We just shuffled our deck. We put some, we, we, we put four lands on top. We're in perfect condition. Don't worry about it. Never need to play Magus. Never need the Emrakul. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. Everyone's panicking. Everyone that bet on 4 1, you shouldn't have done that, but we're fine. Channeler activation. I wish I could get rid of these. Fatal push, fatal push. Really? Two fatal pushes? Not one, two? Okay. Season Pyromancer's up next. Gotta get some chump blockers in. Believe in the lands. We're getting hit for six. This puts me to eight. Dangerous world we are in. Deep breath. Land. Uh, Helix is interesting. Suppose we can use this. We'll use it now to get rid of one of the channelers. Doesn't really stop Hazard from smashing my face in. My opponent is casting a K command here, pitching it, making these bigger, and now I'm just to hitting this concede button. There's the land. Just one more. Just one more deeper. I wonder if Rest in Peace makes sense here. It's really awkward with our one of Emrakul if they end up getting this and taking it away. I'm kind of missing how Black Red Jund is not a grindy matchup. To me, I feel like we would just take a few of the pieces away from them and just be fine. I don't see a reason to be playing the Maze Mind Tome, but maybe, maybe I'm just wrong. 
I don't know. Bone Crusher Giant didn't do much. Here, we'll bring one back in. Magus is useless? Fine, fine. We'll do that. Need three drops. We'll just let him crox us. We got this. No worries. Not gonna rest in peace. We don't need that either. Nymetic Channeler is not something we're worried about. Just gonna get the Luka down. Gonna win the game. Let's play first. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Gonna keep. You ever kept a turn one Stoneforge and a turn two, turn two Mega Threat? You're about to right now. Look at this. Ramp out that stone forge. Gonna get that that batter skull. They're gonna steal it from us. It's okay. Polluted Delta fetching. Blood Crypt shocks in. Follows us up with a black thought seize. Batter skull, goodbye. It's all bait. It's all bait. All right, past turn. We got a Nahiri now. Looking pretty good, if I'm really honest. Are we gonna Inquisition me now? Excuse me, opponent. Let's have some words about this. Can we have some words about this? Down to 11, we'll hope they're not playing Death Shadow. I don't think they are. They're a bit more mid-range than the Death Shadow version. Inquisition blanks completely here. We have a Nahiri. Opponent plays red mana here. We bolting. We bolt Stoneforge Mystic. Goodbye. I'm going to wait because I want to play this Nahiri. My opponent will not Inquisition me again, and I'll get to play Nahiri and be very happy. I'm ready for that Liliana. Dark Confidant. Easy money. Easy mode. We'll, uh, um, I guess we'll just keep doing this kind of stuff. A little bit of each color. It's kind of fun. All right, Nahiri. Let's get rid of this land. A couple season pyromancers. We have a Nahiri at six. Dark Confidant trigger here, hitting a land. Three mana available to our opponent. Definitely have some potential blockers here with Season Pyromancer. Two mana used here. Dreadbores the Nahiri. I see. I see. Play our lands. Let's make a little more red mana. We'll go ahead and Season Pyromancer. Ditching the new Season Pyromancer that we drew. Taking two cards. Lightning Helix, the Dark Confidant, and pass turn. Kind of a quick set of sequences there. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. It'll be okay. Polluted Delta here getting the Triome. Triome means that we have an engineered explosive somewhere buried in my opponent's list. Fourth mana. This is this crazy mountain again. Opponent is at 10. We do have an extra season Pyromancer down here. Looking okay. Four minutes going going how are you Liliana we got a down tick or up tick all right goodbye Sunbay Canyon goodbye goodbye all right let's go combat first attack Liliana here go ahead and do this whole season pyromancer thing again and um I guess I'll bolt that, right? We'll worry about Maze Mind Tome next. Just bolt the Liliana off. Play the Maze Mind Tome next time. We've got five damage on the battlefield. Fetch land for our opponent, two unknown cards. Doing pretty good, just hanging out. Nice. Look, it's, it's Mom Dog. What's up, Mom Dog? How you doing, Mom Dog? They attacked. That seems silly. Don't do that, Mom Dog. Hang back. Good job. All right, Maze Mine Tome here. Let's go ahead and let's draw a card for funsies. Play a Stoneforge Mystic here too. We'll go get that Sword of Fire and Ice. 
And I think I'm just going to pass the turn one time here. So they might be able to steal this sort of fire and ice. They do. That's fine. Got a nice battlefield here. What's up, Uncle DB? All right, for the person that said Maze Mine Tome's good, it's working out. I still am not quite in agreement with it, but it's working. We'll have a chat after. The sequencing, you love it? Nice. Let's put Sword into play. Let's attempt to attach Sword to Season Pyromancer. Go combat. I think I'm just gonna attack with the one so I have two blockers here. This is lethal and two attacks anyway. Ooh, three mana. K command? Uh oh. K command has to kill the sword, which is still like kind of okay. Kill sword, two damage upstairs. Kill sword, two damage here or here. Okay. Now they block. That's still okay as well. I say all this is okay. How many people feel that this is not okay? It's okay to raise your hand. Season Pyromancer from my opponent. Drag, drag these out. Feels okay because of the maze mind. Land drop here. We got Hazret. Probably okay to go ahead and just jump block this. We've got a lot of season pyromancers in the yard. All right, maze mind tome draw. It's a land. Just gonna take a natural draw. Nahiri, ooh, draw more. We just get rid of this and then we'll see what we want to do with the Skyclave operation. I'll probably hold the land here. I could play the land out, but if we have like a K command or something, I don't want to do that. Two hands raised, Uncle DB. You're gonna just bolt me. Bolts the token. Means they'll throw two damage here at the Nahiri. Down to eight. Take five was fine. It probably was. I don't really mind the season pyromancer in the yard though. Perfect example of holding, but then the Crocs is going to show back up here as well. Well, I'm kind of glad I didn't take five because the Crocs are now showing up here and then losing Nahiri just feels awful. Yeah, you can do all kinds of things with Arid Mesa. At this point, doubling down on Croxy here, we just lose the Skyclave. I lose Nahiri here too. We do have a redraw here. I'm down at 15. This is looking kind of sketchy though. That is way too late. I do this. I think I'm having to chump block, right? Chump block with the season pyromancer token. I don't want to take six. I don't want to crack my maze mind tome either. I guess this is kind of like a nice discard to this card. So we got that going for us. I feel like I'm just supposed to chump block and let the other three come through and that way I have the elemental and I can kind of use Maze Mind Tome to some level of effectiveness here. Not with a Spaghetti Mom though. <laughs> Let's go ahead and draw. So this is a little awkward because when we ditch Spaghetti Mom, we're going to 
lose our season pyromancers, but then we like gain them back too. This is gonna be really weird. I don't feel comfortable anymore. All right, they attack with everything here. Let's go ahead and use Season Pyromancer. Yeah, we're going to exile one of them. Emrakul spins the wheel. <laughs> They're not going to mill us out. Block and pass turn. We're going to have to jump block, I think. Looking for our Nahiri. Channeler, 4-4 four, four shows up. It's a bolt. All right, I'll just pass the turn here. Can I throw the bolt upstairs? That puts them to five. Bolt into helix into bolts. I take a bolt if I get rid of this bolt. So four, five, six, seven is what I'm taking. Eight, nine, ten. If I do the bolt now, I can block, block here, and I take one, two, three, and I get to bolt upstairs. What does that do for me? What does this bolt do for me? Blocking here, take four, five, six, seven. It's still a two turn clock by just blocking twice. Just bolt upstairs and then we'll chump chump. Chumping one here doesn't feel very good. I can't quite just like hold back and then attack them for two here. This is lethal. I don't know what we're doing here. Nahiri down tick here, four, five, six, seven still. Oh gosh, it's Luca. This just doesn't win it. <laughs> this doesn't win it. Luca's no good here. Bummer. Red black takes us down here. That's not good. <laughs> All right. I think the turn where they got to do Croxa and the replay Croxa was the turning point for them. Like our Nahiri was really good against the Hazard, which is something we had to get rid of. We just got a bit unlucky with the Croxa. I'm not really sure. Oh, they had a bolt in hand. Well, that's silly. Um, I'm not really sure why. Why or if we should bring in rest in peace. I know they have the channeler and the crocs. So I just don't think that's a reason to go for it. But who knows? One, two. Yep. No, four, one. No, four, one. Bean ball. Beanball's points are all gone now. Beanball shouldn't have bet. It's a lesson. That's what it is. The spaghetti's lessons tonight. All right, let's find our next opponent. I feel like we can get a 3-2 out of this. Predictions, I don't think so. Oh no, I don't even know how to do those. Alan Winden and Gam Gam Chan just won, all kinds. I can still one four? That's true, it could be backwards. It could be backwards. Alan Winden just, just boosted up. It's probably the third place person in channel points now. It's slash predictions for predictions. Mathematically, there are more three twos than four ones. This is a true statement. All right, we'll keep this. We've got the Luca. Bone Crusher combo here. Just need one more land. Let's 
We're both 1-2, apparently. Mid guy's 1-2, I'm 1-2. You believe in the 1-4 punt? Oh. Watery Grave for our opponent. I'm going to fetch. My opponent's going to be like, ha, gotcha, Archive Trap. Nope, never mind. Okay. Well, we're doing Bone Crusher Giant things into Luca into Spaghetti Moms. Let's see if that's going to be a thing we can assemble here. Inquisitions. Well, in response to this, I'm going to go at least throw one Bone Crusher Giant to the wind here. Would you like to take the other Bone Crusher Giant opponent? He is available right here. With his fine beard. Takes the other Bone Crusher Giant. Don't tell me you kept a one lander. That's very dangerous. Good. Misty Rainforest. All right. What do we think? Do I just slam the Bone Crusher Giant or wait? Well, I put that into play tapped. Apparently, we're waiting. We're waiting because I put it into play tapped. It would be really awkward if I pick up a Simeon Spirit Guide. Ooh. Gaia Reach. Narset. Slam. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and get rid of the Narsets. We have the Bone Crusher Giant showing up next. If I happen to get a <clears throat> Magus, it would have been nice. Bone Crusher Giant in play. Opponent picked up a Cryptic Command. Ops. Ooh. They opted. What else are they going to do? Oh my gosh, we have to go for this. All right, combat. Attack for four. Luca. Down tick. Spaghetti mom. Spaghetti. <laughs> Okay, that worked. That was good. Get some defense grids in. Let's get some defense grids in. All right, defense grid in and we swap the sword because, well, the sword is protection from red and blue. We'll see if we get lucky here. Oh, yes. Keep, Gemstone, Skyclave Apparition, play the Defense Grid, slam the Magus down. Uh oh, hold on, we have an island. I have Stoneforge. I got baited. I shouldn't play the Stoneforge, but I just did. We're gonna go get a Sword of Fire and Ice here, not the Batter Skull. Opponent Ops. What's up, Avaros? Red White Polymorph. Kind of. Yeah, that's kind of what we're doing here. Kind of. Well, apparently Magus is terrible. <laughs> Two mana kill this. Eliminate. Nice. Eliminate. Pretty nice here. Well, I'm going to put down the Magus here just so they don't get double blue, double black so easily. We'll see if that is the case. We might get to then play Defense Grid, Sword, Nahiri. But apparently my opponent's just got all the basics, so there is that. We'll see if they want to take my Sword of Fire and Ice here. Or not. I know I swapped out the black one here, but I think the protection from blue is pretty nice. I'm afraid of Jace, for those wondering why I took it out and afraid of pa Fatal Push. We're not afraid of that card. Don't be afraid. Just accept it. Takes my sword here. Goodbye, sword. All right. Load up with a defense grid here first. Either one's getting countered. I'd rather try to try to get the defense grid in first. Maybe we should have played that a lot earlier. Opponent mana leaks us. Attack for two past turn. 
playing quick. We're going to get both of our leagues in tonight. It's going to be good. All right. So Magus is here, just chilling. Yeah, let's go for it again. Defense grid number two. Do you have another mana leak? Cryptic Command's not doing anything there. Ooh. Defense grid in play. All right. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Four mana opt. <laughs> I'm sorry, but when you pay four mana to opt, it's a bad day. Surprised they just didn't do that in response. All right, opponent's got a lot of mana here. Let's go ahead and go to Magus attack first. Big ops. <laughs> I'll try Nahiri. This could get countered here. Mana leak is five mana. Logic not for force of negation here because they can't they can't pay <laughs> they can't pay for it and the defense grid they had to ditch a arc mage charm here <laughs> all right attack go ahead opponent down to ten lightning bolt looking pretty good. Play a land, attack again, pass turn. Down to eight. Blood Moon doing things. Go Grey Ogre. Trace the Mind Sculptor. I don't know how much it costs. Yes, I do, it's four. Kill Jace here before they somehow get their way out of this with their Jace. Feeling pretty good about that. Do we have another island? Looks like a no. Ooh. Play a Nahiri here. Uptick, definitely get rid of the Needle Verge. I'll hold on to this land. In for two, pass turn. They're at six with the Nahiri and Defense Grip and Magus on board. Uh oh. Another island. This Grixis control player is in a tough spot. They are. They are indeed. We'll get rid of Basic Mountain here. I'm not going to attack just this once because Snapcaster is a bit. Frightful. I'd like to see if Mike can get this Nahiri to live here. Cryptic Command cost everything here to bounce the Nahiri. If not, I'm going to show up with Spaghetti Mom. Now they could stop this. Tapping down with Cryptic Command is an option for our opponent. Looks like we're Cryptic Commanding something here. Bouncing Nahiri and drawing a card. Who even needs a bomb when you can beat down with the Magus? Exactly. You got it. Defense grid number two. This has just gotta just suck. <laughs> They're like, this cryptic is awful. <laughs> Counter and rebounce this one. Target player draws two cards. Defense grid is 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 live. In with the Magus, land the Nahiri, cycle the Sunbake Canyon. Ooh, that's a good one too. All right, if my opponent wants to play at instant speed, it costs them an additional six. Narset has got to not be it. I can't, that can't, that can't win here. There's no way. What are you going to find with Narset? Inquisition. That's really good. 
steals Pyromancer. That was really good. There you go. Top of the library is a season Pyromancer. We play that. Draw two. Probably play the Stoneforge, get another card. And then Nahiri loot. Defense grid's pretty good. Just say. Two two. Draw zero. Then we would we would we didn't have to punt in front of you all. I was just making a good joke. <laughs> Let's play first. Let's keep this in. Look at all these Skyclave aberrations. What's up, Nightmare Weaver? How's it going? How's it going? We were just playing against your colors. The blues and the blacks. They're scary colors. Very nightmarish. Aaron Mesa, go opponent. Windswept Teeth, Creature Deck, Bone Crusher Giant looking real good here. All right, a Noble Hierarch. We can most definitely beat this. Your guild colors are very scary. They are, they are. We're gonna stomp this out of the way and pass turn. I mean, I have just Apparition into Nahiri. This is looking great. Man, Heliod combo. What decks play this card? <laughs> what decks play that card, chat? All right, Bone Crusher Giant, pass the turn here. Bant Colors, Ephemerate's looking like a possibility here. Not Vesper Lark. This is a Saffron Olive deck? What? Supreme Phantom? Huh? <gasps> what are you doing here, Emrakul? What are you doing here? Uh, we're gonna wait on the Skyclave Apparations because I just want to let my opponent know what's gonna hit them in a few turns. Oh my gosh, it's Magus. It's Magus. Looting away Emrakul, attacking with Bone Crusher Giant, finding our own Magus here. If my opponent attacks, we can always use Nahiri here. We can also Skyclave Apparation some stuff away. Mausoleum Wander and Supreme Phantom. It's a 1-3, maybe a 2-3 attacking. Hits Nahiri. Looking okay with us. All right. How do we want to approach this? <sighs> Just up with Nahiri here and like Magus and then next turn Skyclave Apparition. Kill something as well. I bet the Magus just wins this game. Let's just draw a discard here because I'm planning to play this Magus. We can get rid of a basic mountain. Maybe I'll find like a bolt. A bolt destroys them, yeah. All right, Maze Mind Tome's a no-go here. I think I can just sa safely play the Magus though and then just slap down a Tome and pass turn. We'll, we'll swing. We, we won't swing. My opponent's just like, no. No more magic for you. All right, we were gonna run into a Helix as well. This is our Anger the Gods matchup. This is also sort of Fire and Ice, we can get rid of a Famine here. Defense Grid's kind of this awkward card that could work against them, because sometimes they play Spell Queller. What's funny is Luca actually gets around Spell Queller, which is super nice. I think just all of our removal is fine here. Um, we can probably ditch a Season Pyromancer. And maybe just the pair of Simeon Spirit Guides. We don't need to rush anything out typically. We have Lightning Bolts, Helixes, Bone Crusher Giants, Nahiris. I mean, my opponent should not, shouldn't live very long here. We'll see though. Bone Crusher Giants a little weak to a few of the bigger creatures. Starting hand looks fantastic. We'll keep this. 
put gemstone into play. I'm gonna get rid of sunbaked. I want double red, but I also want to be able to get white here with the arid mesa. I don't want to take damage. Pretty sure Spirits has run Queller since it was printed. Did I say something else? I might have. I'm kind of weird like that. All right, Stoneforge Mystic here. I'm, I feel pretty confident that I could just get Sword of Fire and Ice and probably win with this card. So we'll do it. Protection from red and blue, specifically the blue matters here. I'm just not like afraid and I'm gonna just anger them soon. Basic forest found here. My opponent's playing a collected company version. Wonder how much I hate collected company here. We'll pass. I'm gonna get the sword in. We'll be fine. If they play something real nasty here, we can helix it. <clears throat> Winds of Teeth getting another basic. Our Maguses are looking bad. <clears throat> Put our sword into play. Looking okay. One, two, three, one land. Land super nice here because then I can at least boot this up. Attach this and then I can helix something as well. Attacking with this as well seems pretty safe. And we get to just shoot the Noble Hierarch. Or they'll block. Nice. They're blocking for us. I guess they don't want me to draw a card. Prison Understudy. Things are going. How are you doing? Ooh, Skyclave's a really good one here. Oh, Skyclave's a really good one here. Oh my gosh. Was that just not perfect? <laughs> oh my gosh. What's happening? That was a really good hit. Like, really good. I'm going to... Just gonna pass the turn. I'm just gonna pass the turn. That was... There went everything I did. <laughs> there went... Everything I did. Supreme Phantom here is not frightening at all yet. The second one is, though. Well, Helix the first one. And we'll plan to just end my opponent here. All right, we get hit for six here. It's a good amount. Land sideways, two cards remaining. Yeah, probably is one of the best Cocos they could have asked for. Probably so. Oh well. Goodbye, board. I'll take a few uh three two three three and three two. Goodbye. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's a perfect Coco and I follow up with just anger and my opponent's just gone. Three two overall. <laughs> three two with spaghetti mom here in modern. Whew. There it is. It plays well. I like the Skyclave Apparition Editions. Those are super nice instead of being just strictly on Goblin Rabble Master. The bolts are feeling good over the chalices. We're a little bit outside of the prison realm. We're more into this red-white. Um, just kind of like mid-range combo list. Almost got Nahiri to go once or twice here. Probably could have tightened up that one matchup. And uh, yeah, Defense Grid played well. Luca got to do its thing. I think... Overall, the league is a success. We got to do everything in the list. Luca, Nahiri, Stoneblade with a side of spaghetti in modern.